2022 Specialized Ollie Sprint Disc. This is going to be a quick uh, 1,000 mile update review on some of the changes I've made. So, starting with the front, I have upgraded to the Roval Alpinus. Uh, one piece handlebar stem combo, it's 42 centimeters wide, 120 millimeters deep super lightweight and actually added quite a bit of compliance to the bike. Uh, it kind of smooths out some of that road vibrations that the aluminum frames are notorious for. Um, an additional upgrade I made is the Specialized S-Works Roman Evo saddle. Very lightweight, has carbon rails, super minimalist, and I get along with it very well. Additionally, I have upgraded the Star Ratchet system in the rear. I believe these Revol C38s came with a either 18 tooth or 24 tooth points of engagement. Now it has the 54 tooth star ratchet system, so I'll show you the sound of that. I've been very happy with that. Um, other than that, things have kind of remained the same. Still got the Revol C38s front and rear uh, with the same Continental GP5000s and 25 millimeter width. They fit perfectly flush with the exterior of the carbon hoops there. Um, still rocking the Shimano Ultegra 12 speed VI2 system. Running the Ultegra 160 rotor up front, 140 in the rear. Still got the stages, uh, power meter, non drive side, hooked up to some Dura Ace 9000 pedals. Got tax bottle cages. Running the dip bottle here, which is carrying my flat kit in the, in the bottom section here. So I have a tube nice and coiled up there, CO2, notify tools, other small. Uh, necessities for the road, hydration as well. So if I ever, you know, sip and stash is my go-to product here. Gitsworks.com. Um, what else? Lizard skins bar tape. Um, Wahoo GPS out front with the Revol mount on there. And uh, other than that, I've been very happy with it so far. No complaints. Check out Dipsports.com. Also, shout out to quickcross.com if you're in Southern California. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot them in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. And uh, stay safe out there.